Hey, welcome back to Tagging Out Hunting. This week we're going to be hunting with Mr. Russ. Once we arrived at the location that Mr. Russ had roosted the birds the night before, there was already another hunter there. Good thing he had good friend Mr. Steve along. Mr. Steve said he'd been seeing some birds behind his house on his farm and to head out over there. We jumped in the truck, hauled butt over there, and before you know it, we had the ground line set up and we had things ready to go. After getting things ready to go, Mr. Steve was getting down on the box call, and we were just waiting for that answer. And eventually, something did answer. Well, it wasn't the answer we were looking for, but it's always neat to see animals interacting in the field. Uh, right then, Mr. Steve had to get to work, so he advised that we stay there and hang out for a little while because he'd been seeing the birds come in the backfield, and it wasn't too much longer. Well, you know how that goes. When you have hens out in the field, there's probably toms around. And eventually the toms did pop out. And when they seen our feathered friend, well, they decided to pay him a visit.
Tagging Out Hunting would like to thank the following sponsors. Visit them on our website at taggingouthunting.com. Now this is a common scenario in turkey hunting, but the problem is my tag didn't start till the second season. But it was still cool to watch this bird interact and figure out what just happened. That bird wouldn't leave for nothing. Not too bad. Yeah, man. Nice shot. <laughs> that was. <laughs> Come right in. Yeah, going down to 12 steps, maybe. Yeah. 10. <laughs> Not bad at all. That was a good bird. Oh. This one out here, he's still out here. He's confused as can be, ain't he? Oh, yeah. He hung out for what? Five minutes, probably. Mm hmm. Trying to get his buddy to go with him. Not today. His no, buddy's going with you. His buddy's <laughs> gone. Well, that was a nice hunt. Thank you much, Steve. Yeah, yeah, heck yeah. Well, here we are. We're out here at uh, a good buddy of Mr. Russ's Steve's house. He let us come out for the day and hunt. Um, he had a couple toms when working this cornfield here. You can see the setup. We got a tom decoy. Um, got the hen in front of it and the choice blind here back behind us. And uh, the setup worked perfect. Uh, the birds come out to the right and they left. They were with about three hens out here and they left the hens right there where they were and pretty much ran across the field as you'll see in the footage and uh, come right to the decoy and they worked the decoy for a few minutes there and we didn't know whether they're gonna take off or not and, you know I said Mr. Russ you know go ahead and go ahead and take it and that was all she wrote. And the, and the 20 gauge put the smacking down on that uh, on this Tom here at you know 10 yards 12 yards something like that so Russ you made a real nice shot congrats on a great bird. Well thank you thanks for thank calling you. and Get them to come in. It didn't take much though. Once they once no. they seen that bird, they were committed. They were, they were pretty committed. They come right across the field and left their girls behind. And that's the mistake they made today. That was it. Yeah, got a nice bird. I'm happy. Season's done. And yep. 
tagging out try Michigan. Again. Yep, try <laughs> again this fall. Guys, girls, if you're not hunting out one of these ground blinds yet, you need to get in one of these. They are so comfortable to hunt out of. You can get away with movement, get away with more scent, everything else. And they go up so quick and they come down just as quick. So check out how long this takes. And all you do on these hub style blinds, you just push it in. All four sides. Top comes down, push the top down. Push one of the four corners here. Fold it right on up. And put it in the bag and you're ready to go. It's really that simple. So I wanted to thank Steve for letting me come on his property and shoot a nice bird. And uh, I had a great time. Even if we didn't get anything, I, I would have had a good time hunting with uh, just good friends and uh, seeing what we've seen this morning. double beard or what maybe seven inches I think seven yeah. inch beard but not a bad turkey check it out you guys are building the house huh I'm uh, building the deck today and then uh, next door how are you doing Chip this is uh, this is Ryan Ryan how are you building a deck here today yeah you guys little. stripped asbestos off yesterday huh right <laughs> <laughs> And it's yeah. no. <laughs> lead. Don't forget the lead paint. Too. Yeah, the lead, lead paint. Yeah, lead paint is <laughs> best. No, it's not. Look at this. Oh, wow. Michigan's turkey population is one of conservation's greatest success stories. Michigan is rated number six for the most sought after place to go hunt turkeys in the U.S. Hey, come join us next week when my wife's going to be throwing some G5s at some birds. And until then, so long. <laughs>